as I'm staying close to the mirror A lock of gold, a secret smile Little things I remember Plays a hand upon my heart as her She was a believer Sometimes I... Screws There's screws? Oh, no No, nails it's good news. So there's a layer of asphalt shingles underneath and you can see they use regular roofing nails to pin that down. And then the tin roof goes on top and that's nailed in. With okay. Spiral nails. So that means that we can go from the inside, knock the nails out. Yeah. And then remove the little pieces one by one. Nice. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. Yeah, it's handy. Hi everybody, welcome um, again to the farmhouse. Get used to it. <laughs> yeah, it's gonna take a while. We're gonna be here for a while. We got the uh, iPad and the uh, Apple Pen. Um, we're just taking inventory. Uh, I know we mentioned this in a, in a previous video, but uh, we're just taking some time today. We're gonna count up all the uh, different structural members. So we have, um, let me back up. We, we, we're really, what we need to do is figure out how big of a shelter do we need to make to store all the wood that is gonna come out of this farmhouse when it's dismantled. So we're not just gonna leave it in a pile in the yard to get rained on and snowed on. Uh, we're gonna build a, a stick frame of sorts um, using all the kind of crappy um, semi-rotted wood that we pulled down from the ceiling. Uh, not much of that is really good for anything so, so I'm gonna double them up and screw them together, clamp them, glue them, whatever, big boro steel build a stick frame that we are then going to pull. Uh, we have two tarps, one I think is 60 by 30, the other is 20 by 40. Um, we're gonna use them, one is gonna be used as a temporary roof, the other one is going to be stretched over that frame that I mentioned, um, and that will be like a little, a little enclosure for all of this wood so it doesn't get wrecked in the elements. Yeah. It's pretty chilly today, so uh... We're, uh, and we're also expecting 10 more centimeters of snow. Yep. So um, we thought that we would, you know, we were doing quite a bit of nailing yesterday and that was... Uh, Denailing, yeah. Denailing. Pulling, yeah, <laughs> yeah it's tough, tough on the elbows for sure. You got. I'm ready for the build, can you tell? Because it's everything is always like, yeah, I wanna, we're building, I wanna we're not taking down. I want to install and construct. Yeah. Yeah, so, so what we're going to do is some area measurements. So we have the sheathing and the sheathing is of, of varying widths, right? It's all these old boards, so they're... They are anywhere from, uh, you know, if I eyeball it, probably eight inches, seven or eight inches wide to as much as 18, almost 20, some of these boards. And so it, it's not practical to like take an inventory of every single size of board. We're just gonna take some area measurements, subtract the windows. Um, the thickness of the boards is anywhere from an inch to an inch and a half. So I'm just gonna pick an inch and a quarter. So we'll say an inch and a quarter, uh, thick by whatever the area is of the four walls where the sheathing is down here mm -hmm. then the rest of it should be pretty straightforward just counting up how many joists how thick are the joists right and then we know how high the pile will be when they're all stacked then the floorboards and the studs on the outer walls that's you know what I mean and then we'll round up a little bit just better to round up than to, to not have enough room when all is said and done yeah. At the end of the day, we do have a little extra space in our, uh, well, in Al's tent for like his workshop, workshop tent, and we have a little space in uh, where we keep our wood. Not really, though. I mean, if we, we could rearrange things, and then yeah, but but but, but at in the, the end, end of the day, we want this structure to be holding all of the wood that we're going to be using when we start to build our house. So yeah, um, we really do want it to be the correct. And uh, it's going to have to like we, you know. Given that the house could take us two or three years, um, you know, 
I, I, dare, I, I almost don't, don't want to jinx it and say longer. But the point is, is that all this wood, none of this wood can be used as part of the structure. It's all, you know, I mean, it would never, I, I, you know, even looking at it, you can see where the, the holes that they drilled for the wires uh, it wouldn't have been to code. It, it's not through the center of the joists, it's through the top of them um, in most cases. So I wouldn't be able to use the full span of these, even if they were, uh, if they weren't 136 years old. So this will all be used for finishing, right? Paneling inside, Making different it look structures, pretty. you know, making it look rustic and all this fun stuff. Um, so Not so. just in our house though, we actually will probably use it in the, um, the guest house as well. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah, we got lots of plans for it. Yeah. But it will have to sit out uh, for two or three years. So the idea is, if anyone's seen stacked lumber, I'm gonna take some sacrificial pieces, probably the same, roof stuff, rip it into little strips so that you put a layer of wood, then you put strips going perpendicular, and then you stack the wood on top of that, perpendicular strips, stack another layer. So we have to account for that as well in the volume of the, of the little wood manger that we have to build because uh, you want airflow getting through, you don't want it to get wet. I've seen it already in the building where there's either been a leak or in the case over against this wall here, um, whoever was here before us, and I don't know what the purpose would have been, but they stapled up some plastic and put plywood over top of that, and all that did was hold a bunch of moisture in against the wood, which then inundates it, gets it wet, and then the bugs find it. So, so uh, these little Sawyer beetles, the black beetles with the big long antennas, they laid eggs in it, and the little worms come in, and they burrowed holes through that section. So if this wood gets wet, it will get eaten by insects, it'll get eaten by ants. Um, you, you, gotta, you gotta make sure that there's airflow, it's dried out and all that fun stuff. Yeah. And again, for a while, we are going to have this floor, the first floor, yep. to be able to keep this wood, but you know, we just wanna make sure that we're ready when, yeah, when it all has to come going. out and, and yeah, because it, it, be, it won't be long before it all has to go out. Yeah, we're hoping that once we get going, it, it's gonna be, uh, you know, like a roller coaster fast. Yeah, we'll see. <laughs> <laughs> yep, that's what we're up to today. Boring, I know, but it's uh, essential. We got a plan. Yep. Bye. We got even more snow this week and we are loving it. There's something wonderful about, as our brother-in-law would put it, a good honest winter. This week is all about preparation. So it may look like we're not getting a lot done, but there is a lot going on behind the scenes. We learned from our farmhouse wood that we restored for our blue box that it's easier to remove the majority of the nails on the boards while they're still up. Not only are they easier to get at, but also the wood stacks better without a bunch of protruding nails. So this week, a lot of our time was spent pulling nails from the farmhouse on the inside when the weather was less favorable, and on the outside on sunnier days. There are a baffling number of nails that have been used over the years, so we have our work cut out for us. Luckily, they mostly come out relatively easy. Also, we are finalizing our new home plan to submit for permits. In truth, we have been doing this for years, even before we moved up here, and there have been many versions. As we learn from the renovation of our old house and the build we did for what will be our guest house, these plans have continually evolved in our minds, but we need to finish them now so that we can break ground in the spring.
I must have been wrong